Hello, captains. It's been a long time. Welcome to the Hyperion Lounge. Welcome to the Hyperion Lounge. We're so happy to see you again. We know many of you are still savoring the trailer of a post Honkai Odyssey. And I'm one of them. Having been urged by fans, we are finally giving a post Honkai Odyssey a major update. Let's find out what's new in version 5.3 Post Dust Odyssey. Let's see. 在一点钟方向持续监测到可疑反应，推测为总数过百的不明生命体。修伯利安主炮已蓄能完毕，请指示。修伯利安的一线战斗人员分成三路进行使用。你们切勿恋战，我们还有十二小时可以用来阻止他。赵宇，我已经决定了，我要前往明日，带着所有的过往一起。of a charged up punch matches the one in APHO. Speaking of force, when I began playing APHO, the character that surprised me the most was Carol. I preferred Carol to the agile May and the balanced protagonist. Her relentless attacks and meaty feedbacks left an impression on me. Carol is also the character I used the most in APHO. When APHO was just launched, we saw many captains discussing her. Today, she answers your call with Miracle Kissy Pillow. Let the video send us to Carol's sweet and spicy world. Carol Peppers, the striker of Shixel's anti Honkai Squad 3, is a lively, unique, and free spirited Pepper of the post Honkai era. As a mech type SP melee support, she fights with mechanical fists, tap attack to throw heavy punches. Her ground basic attack is a three hit combo each hit dealing physical damage. It gains a shield-breaking effect that stacks three times. Her basic attack can also attack upward or downward. Hold attack to charge up. It not only makes her take less total damage, but also gives her iron body. Her charged attack varies depending on how long it is charged up. Using her charged attack in mid-air to pulling enemies while charging. On closer look, her charge attack creates a bigger impact, especially when her charge is full. Coupled with the thrusters on her fist, her punch becomes unstoppable. Impaired enemies will trigger Carol's QTE. Tap attack to follow up with multiple hits. Tap alt to launch her ultimate. Carol will smash the ground twice and leap into the air to crash down again. Notably, you can switch characters the instant her ultimate is launched. Carol will stay on the field to finish her ultimate. In that case, pairing Carol up with Starlet's Astrologos allows the whole party to appear on the field. Other than Starlet Astrologos and Valkyrie Chariot, Hexer Bunny can also produce the same effect. Doesn't it feel like the joint attacks in APHO? Indeed, it feels more like fighting as a team. Two weapons will be released alongside Carol, one being Miracle Kissy Pillow, which is highly suitable for Carol. The other being Hector's Somber, which is the prime form of Hector's Gloom. With Miracle Kissy Pillow equipped, tap weapon to fire the fists. They will smash into enemies and keep spinning to pulling enemies. If Carol's a wielder, she can even use a special combo. Here we see Carol recovering the fists with a L3 charge attack. This also deals the damage of subsequent sequences. Casting her ultimate also gives the team a physical damage bonus. I heard there's something special about the color of Carol's fists. Yep, the color of her fists changes with the color of the fists she's wearing. The other weapon is a prime arm, Hector's Somber. Tap weapon to quickly knock down enemies within a large area. When the cross is deployed, extra blade will accompany Twilight Paladin's attacks. Its passive provides more than a total damage bonus. When the wielder attacks hits, 
Sniper damage will be further boosted up to 10 times. Upgrading it to Prime Form also upgrades Twilight Paladin's Automate. Our cute but tough principle is really something. You should call her Overseer. This version update introduces a powerful stigma set. The Devil's Violinist set, Pagnini. Music lovers might have heard of this name. Yep, it's that legendary violinist. Legend has it that he sold his soul to the devil in exchange for inhuman skills. He's a virtue also capable of playing three octaves across four strings in a handspan. The devilish and musical elements in the art are paying homage to him. Back to the topic. Carol is playing a big role in version 5.3. That's right. The hype train has finally pulled in. Before Starfall, the Chapter 2 prologue of a post Honkai Odyssey will be released in version 5.3. As a main character in the prologue, Carol will steer the course of the story. At the end of APHO Part 1, the protagonist and Mei fell in the battle of Arcane Castle. Carol, who had been protected by them, would take on the responsibility of saving her teammates. The previous trailer, Stars Above the Drowned Lands, showed adult Branya leading her squad to the rescue. How will Carol handle the crisis and rendezvous with Branya? This will be the focus of Before Starfall. Next up is Good Old League Time. Where we only tell you half the story. <laughs> Come on! Aside from expanding the map in APHO Chapter 2, we also planted several dungeons of gates. In a dungeon of gates, you can leap and run anywhere, and even shape the terrain. Speaking of magical features, are there any others? You know what I'm asking. Maybe. You're talking about the new characters who appeared briefly in the trailer. Yes! There are two other members of Bronya's squad. We can show you their silhouettes. This is Timido, who attacks with Ice Gate. The other is Lyle. We can tell from his name and silhouette that he's a male. As for what his abilities are, you can find out all about them in version 5.3. You won't believe the next piece of news. Hersha of Reason will be given away for free. The bonus events data recombination will open in version 5.3. You only need to complete 4 out of 5 designated missions to obtain Hersha of Reason. For captains without Hersha of Reason, it's too good for an opportunity to miss. Captains who already own Hersha of Reason will receive fragments of equal value. It's great for ranking her up too. We bet you still remember the recent STEM Wars. Once again, let's congratulate Miss Raven for winning. Her commemorative stigma set, Idol Performance, will be released in version 5.3. Again, you only need to accumulate lock-ins to claim it. Anyway, I love the art of the stigma set. It showed me the other equally charming side of Miss Raven. It made me realize that there's so much more to her. Her charm could make me blush. This might be the power of an idol. In the version 5.3 update, Chapter 27, Dusk of the Fool, will be released. Another evocative title. Adol's conspiracy will surface in this chapter. However, the Valkyries knows little about it. The clock is ticking. A battle for the past and future of humanity begins. I knew Otto wouldn't resign so easily. According to what we know, Valkyries should play a key role in his plan. Judging from the numerous Otto clones in the trailer, he's ready to wage war against the Valkyries. What exactly is Otto planning? Play the game to experience it yourself. Complete the story to obtain the outfit Autumn Shades. Apart from the main story, Open World's gameplay is also receiving an update. First up is the Spartax system that produces new items, which help captains clear the new activity Imaginary Erosion Sphere. The Genius system was also updated, providing captains with a new active skill, Swatch Shield Attraction, which pulls in enemies. We are also rerunning two events in version 5.3 by popular demand. One is Honkai Kingdoms, and the other is The Day You Vanish with the Stars. They tell a touching story. I still remember the afternoon when I beat it. I was completely lost in it. This rerun links the two parts of the series together to create a full experience. If you missed it once, don't miss it twice.
Some of you already know what's coming up. Our Hersha Flame Sign has finally gotten her first outfit, Time Runner. Check out how stylish it is. Gorgeous. That's the word that comes to my mind. Drop dead gorgeous. This outfit adopts ice crystals that contrast with the default flames. Accentuated with purple stardust, clock hands, a dial pattern skirt, and an asymmetric design. Unlike the original, it creates a cold and mysterious vibe. This vibe echoes the concept of our hands. You can see our hand visual effects when she casts her charged attack and automate. Her charged attack brings space time. Her automate shatters stars. When these spectacles come together, she's like a comet that transcends space time, mysterious and powerful. She shines like the stars. Maybe this outfit embodies the best birthday wishes for Kiana from the depths. So how do you obtain this elegant outfit? Simply pull her show Flame Science new outfit and outfit supply. It's worth mentioning that this round of outfit supplies offers a time chase option. You can choose a base card or rank up stamps of Hersha of the Void, Argent Knight Artemis, or Vermilion Knight Eclipse. The next updated feature is just as important. New battle suits can be used in the Elysium realm. These are Sweet and Spicy, Hersha of Sentience, and Violet Executor. Violet Executor reminds me of the prime arm Hector Somber that we talked about earlier. Maybe it will work magic with the signet of body. By the way, the Elysian Realm has new Valkyrie upgrades rewards. Upgrade battle suits to certain levels and claim crystals. Not only that, in the Elysian Realm, clear five floors on any difficulty level and finalize to unlock new stories, but excluding special stories, of course. Completing the stories of the Elysian Realm also rewards crystals. The Elysian Realms tells a grieving stories after all. This update adds the second set of Nexus and enhanced sickness of Fu Hua and Kevin. The new core bonus provided by the sickness of Vicissitude enables the host to start with Soldier's Remembrance and the max stacks of all bonuses provided by normal sickness of Vicissitude. Taking damage consumes one Soldier's Remembrance stack, which nullifies the damage and renders it temporarily invisible. It activates faster. What about the signet of deliverance? When using automate or in burst mode, hit enemies a number of times to end the war of deliverance state, during which all bonuses provided by normal signets of deliverance are forced to take effect. Hmm. I think after this update, battle suits that rely on the signets of vicissitude and deliverance will find new uses in the Elysian realm. We look forward to what you will achieve in the Elysium realm. Furthermore, in version 5.3, our social media and Hoyo Lab will hold plenty of rewarding events. Let's spend this winter together. That concludes this update episode. See you next time. Bye.